Hey guys, welcome to Boxing Squared for boxing news and views from around the internet. The wheels almost fell off the Alan Babbage hype train going life in death with journeyman David Spilmont before ultimately stopping him in the sixth round of their fight in Manchester. But Babbage, who denied being hurt after the fight, he was hurt at the end of the second round and the French journeyman who had seven losses on the record, bear in mind not even in the world top 100, almost took Babbage out, hurt him deeply with a couple of left hands and was putting it on Babbage at the time that the bell rang for the end of the second round. Literally Babbage was saved by the bell. He tried to front after the fight saying that he wasn't hurt although Spilmont landed some good shots but his body betrayed him. He was hurt, he was on the verge of being taken out and on the verge of being the subject to another big upset in boxing. But the result of this fight, which ultimately he got the job done, but he looked terrible in there. He really did. I don't know why that they tossed him in here, why the card needed Babbage to be on it at a couple of weeks notice, because clearly he was underprepared and underdone and that almost was to his peril and uh, clearly his stock drops heavily. If he was a stock right now, you'd be hitting the sell button going, let's get rid of this, because Alan Babbage looked like a journeyman in waiting. And I know a lot of us have been saying at a certain level, Babbage is going to be found out, come up short. Uh, but a lot of people would say after having seen that fight that David Spilmot, who's a journeyman heavyweight, not even the world top 100, that this was the level for Babbage. He didn't look good almost on the verge of being stopped. So he ended up having Spilmont down a couple of rounds later, round four, ultimately a flurry in the sixth round. By that time, Spilmont, clearly some of the resistance beaten out of him. But throughout the entire fight, Spilmont was landing with regularity, finding a home for his left hand. So the southpaw was often boxing on the back foot, counter-punching off the ropes. But he that left hand was money. Babbage, just no head movement, no defense. Kind of like Lisa Simpson, you know, that famous clip of her walking forward to try um, beat up her brother Bart Simpson with those hands just sort of coming forward. That was Alan Babbage. And ultimately, he almost paid for his reckless nature. And the fact that he came in here, looked underdone, didn't fight well, looked bang average. Not good for his stock and his reputation. And ironically, Eddie Hearn tried to um, sort of say, look, maybe this wasn't a fight that we should have made. He actually said a couple of weeks ago he had COVID, probably shouldn't have been in the ring. Well, if that's the case, why did you make the fight? Because this fight did more harm for his reputation than it did good. I know there's the, the whole thing about, you know, there was the fight that was cancelled the of uh, Joshua Boazzi. That would have been a good fight. Putting Babich in there at short notice has really hurt his reputation. And they're banging on after the fight. OK, let's move down to um, to Bridge away and take on Oscar Rivas or Lucas Brzezinski. On the strength of this performance, Alan Babich is going to get iced by either of those guys. And Lucas Brzezinski is somewhat limited, but he can punch as we saw against Izu Agono a few years ago in what was a heavyweight fight. Now they're contesting at bridge weight, but Alan Babbage is gonna get iced by either of those guys. This is, you know, this is that comeuppance moment for Alan Babbage, his style. He's been found out. And you were thinking it was going to be at some point against a halfway decent opponent. But uh, let's have it right. David Spilmont is not on the radar. He is a journeyman with a whole bundle of losses. He doesn't have exceptional power. He doesn't have exceptional skills. And he almost took out Alan Babbage. And he had huge success in this fight. Like I say, if Babbage was a stock, you'd be hitting sell. And Babbage trying to front after the fight saying he wasn't hurt. Now, come on. Ridiculous. Almost taken out. And his body certainly betrayed him. He was hurt and hurt badly. What do you make of it all? Drop a comment loud and often. Hit like, hit subscribe. Follow me on Twitter, boxing underscore squared. I'm out.